Welcome to this tutorial, where we'll walk you through recreating a Lionel Fast Track model train layout with Rail Modeler Pro on your Mac. Let's begin by launching Rail Modeler Pro. Locate the Rail Modeler Pro icon in your Applications folder or use Spotlight to search for it. Upon launching Rail Modeler Pro, you will be greeted with the welcome window that provides you with options and choices for starting a new project. To create a new model train layout, click on the New Layout button in the welcome window to open a new canvas where you can begin constructing your layout. Next, we will import the catalog drawing provided by the Lionel Fast Track manufacturer into Rail Modeler Pro. Locate the drawing file on your computer, typically in a PDF or image format. In Rail Modeler Pro, go to the File menu and select Add Image. This command allows you to import the catalog drawing into the app. Choose the appropriate file from your computer and click Open to import it into Rail Modeler Pro. Now that we have imported the catalog drawing into Rail Modeler Pro, we need to ensure that the scale of our model train layout matches the drawing. First, locate the layer list in the sidebar to the right of the document window. Next, switch back to the default track layer by clicking on it in the layer list. Select the Lionel Fast Track Library under Model Scale O in the Tracks category from the library catalog located on the left side of the window. Now, place a 10-inch straight track from the track library onto the canvas. This track piece will serve as a reference to adjust the scale of the image. Use the fill color control in the element properties in the sidebar to colorize the track piece in a distinct color that stands out from the gray track plan. Rotate the track 90 degrees to match the orientation of the tracks in the catalog drawing. Switch back to the image layer by clicking on it in the layer list. To resize the image and match it to the layout, select the Resize Image tool from the toolbar. Click and drag on the corners or edges of the catalog drawing to adjust its size until the 10-inch straight track in the track layer aligns with the corresponding reference on the catalog drawing. It's not critical to achieve a perfect match right now. We can revisit and refine the image scale later as we continue constructing the track plan. Once the catalog drawing is properly oriented, invoke the Size Layout to Fit Contents command from the File menu. This command will automatically resize the drawing canvas to fit the current contents and add the padding between the content and canvas borders as chosen in the preferences. Now, we can move on to the next step and add all the required tracks for your layout. Switch back to the track layer by clicking on it in the layer list. We will begin with the plain tracks, followed by the turnouts and crossings. To do this, we will use the library catalog, which provides easy access to all the libraries included in Rail Modeler Pro. The library catalog organizes tracks into categories such as curves, straights, turnouts, and crossings. To efficiently find the tracks you need, we recommend using the Quick Filter, located at the top of the list of track elements. To start, let's add the plain tracks. Use the Quick Filter to display the Straights category, and within it, you'll find various types of straight tracks. Begin with the 10-inch straight track, 12014. Locate it in the filtered list and add one to your layout by dragging it onto the canvas. Feel free to adjust the zoom level at any time to a comfortable level that allows you to focus on any detail of the track plan you are currently working on. Add some more straight tracks from the library catalog. You can also create copies of selected elements using the duplicate command from the edit menu or by holding down the option key while dragging elements. After adding the first set of straight tracks, it's a good time to readjust the image if required. Switch back to the image layer by clicking on it in the layer list. Use the Resize Image tool from the toolbar to fine-tune the image's alignment with the layout. Click and drag on the catalog drawing's corners or edges to make adjustments as needed.
Go back to the track layer in the layer list by clicking on it. Select the Turnouts Quick Filter from the library catalog and find the left-hand switch, 12017, in the list of turnouts. After selecting the switch in the library catalog, move the mouse cursor close to an unconnected joint of the existing straight tracks in your layout. Click the mouse to append the left-hand switch to the track. To append the right-hand switch, 12018, repeat the same process as for the left-hand switch. Adjust the orientation of the right-hand switch as needed using the Joint Rotate function from the Element menu, or press the Space key. This function allows you to change the connected joint of the selected track element. Activate the Curve Quick Filter in the Library Catalog. This will display a list of curved track elements. Select the 036 quarter curve track, 12023, from the Library Catalog, and add a copy to each of the switches. Next, select both the 10-inch and 5-inch straight tracks that are already in your layout. You can do this by clicking and dragging your cursor to create a selection box around both tracks, or by holding down the Shift key and clicking each track. Once both tracks are selected, press and hold the Option key on your keyboard. While holding down the Option key, click and drag the selected tracks to the curved tracks where you want to append the duplicates. In the following step, we will efficiently create the mirrored, right part of the track layout. Rail Modeler Pro offers convenient shortcuts to streamline this process. To select the tracks that are already added to your layout, you can use the triple-click method. Simply click three times inside any track element in order to select all tracks connected to it. In the Edit menu, select the Duplicate command. This will create duplicates of all the selected tracks. In the Element menu, select the Rotate Left command twice. This will rotate the duplicated tracks by 180 degrees, creating the mirrored right part of your track layout. Adjust the position of the duplicated track section. Next, select the Crossings Quick Filter in the Library Catalog and locate the 90-degree crossover, 12019, and add it to the layout. Connect both track segments to the crossing. Select the Curves Quick Filter in the Library Catalog and select the 036 Curve Track, 12015, from the Library Catalog. Append the 036 Curve to a switch in the upper area of your track plan. After appending the first Curve Track, the Repeat dialog will appear. Use this dialog to append three additional copies. You can also use keys 1 to 9 as long as the Repeat dialog is visible. Repeat the process for the lower section of the track plan. To get an overview of your entire layout, use the View Zoom to Fit function. This will adjust the zoom level to display your entire track plan on the screen. You can enhance the clarity of your track plan by invoking the Auto Colorize Layout feature from the File menu. This will automatically apply colors to different track elements or sections, making your layout more visually appealing and easily distinguishable. In Rail Modeler Pro, you can add baseboards to indicate the general shape of the layout you plan to build. Baseboards consist of an outline made up of border segments, each of which can have optional dimensions, such as length of a straight or radius for circular segments. One notable advantage of baseboards is that they are always visible in the background, without interfering with your planning or covering the grid. This ensures that your baseboard outlines are always accessible, but don't get in the way of other design elements. From the File menu, select Add Baseboard. In the Baseboard Assistant, select the rectangle shape. In the following editor, customize the size and dimensions of your rectangular baseboard. You can adjust parameters such as the width and length to match your layout. Once you've customized your rectangular baseboard to your liking, click Next to select a color and insert the baseboard into your layout. Well done! You've successfully replicated a Lionel Fast Track Model Train layout in Rail Modeler Pro on your Mac.
Keep in mind that this application offers additional features to enhance your designs. Don't hesitate to browse the library catalog for various accessories or employ the shape menu in the toolbar to include custom shapes and text. Now, it's time to unleash your creativity, experiment with different layouts, and enjoy constructing your model train world.